What's up, you huge noobs? Today, I'ma learn you something. So the other day, I posted my Inferno guide, which explains rather well the correct way of how to use Jessicar armor effectively and how to make it all the way up to the waves before dead if you are an inexperienced first time Inferno caper. I received an earth shattering response unlike any other when I did this. And let me clarify, it was not a toxic response. It was an argument of people representing two different sides, both raising valid points. So some people call getting an Inferno cape using Jessicar armor a cheese cape. And this is because it does not require as much skill with prayer flicking and solving waves, its core concept is to brute force the cape by putting a band-aid over your mistakes, and you will not learn as much about the inferno and runescape mechanics, so you will not become a better player in the long run. I cannot deny any of these three assertions, and that is why I'm saying that if you look at my guide on how to effectively use Justicar, these three things you could turn into your advantage just to get a cape faster for noobs. But the point was brought up by those who are against using Justicar that Justicar cheese capes all fall under just three categories. One, it took you much, much longer than a traditional cape, 2. You were insanely lucky with RNG, and 3. You already understood the Inferno to the point where you were only slowing yourself down by using Jessicar. I believe that these are not the only 3 categories that a cape falls under, and today I will be explaining why Jessicar helps first time Inferno capers. I know this is an extremely polarized debate with elites over in one corner and big fat noobs over in the other, but I will be settling this issue once and for all, just hang in with me. First off, I like to state that unlike some elitists may think, a Jessicar cape is not just sitting in the middle with Jessicar praying mage. I kind of like this guy's description, I gotta give him credit. The proper way to use Jessicar is to equip full Jessicar only when you know for a fact you will not be able to pray mage and still be able to off tick, pray manipulate range, and perfectly be able to do it to one tick increments. You do not use full Jessicar to deal damage, and Jessicar legs and helm are started off with, but you only switch to the chest if you know for a fact you're going to be transitioning pillars or tanking a few hits. You could always brew if needed. Now that the stage is set, let's get into why Jessicar can be helpful and actually decrease the amount of time to get your Inferno cape. To start off, using Jessicar to get the cape is useful if the player only just wants to get an Inferno cape and get out. People criticize this as a cheese cape, which is elitism at its finest. But going back to the three reasons why it is a cheese cape, they all revolve around the core idea that using Jessicar is bad because you won't learn to be a better player and you're trying to brute force the cape by working around that you have less skill. But to a cheese caper, they don't care about skill. They just want a freaking cape and they want to get out. All Inferno capes look the same exact same in game. And I can tell you, I did a 35 minute speed run, which by the way is not true, but you couldn't tell the difference. I got my cape and I cheese cape that. Using Justicar is very good for those who just want to get a cape and they do not have as much skills as other who have the cape currently. So let's put this to a chart. First off, let's agree on some important concepts. Some people will start attempting the Inferno and they will have less skill than others. This is shown by straight up noobs starting with 5 skill and experienced players starting with 30 relative skill in green. I'm going to make an assumption that all players will need to learn how to off tick minions in one prayer tick multiple minions and if they are starting from scratch and if not using Justicar. The amount of time it will take for people to improve to the required skill level, reliability to clear all waves before Jad will be shorter for those with more skill. This means that those with less skill will take in some cases much longer to become skilled enough. This is shown by the blue bar of how much each player needs to increase the relative skill Skill level. Using Jessicar does not speed up learning, but it does lower the skill requirement to get to Jads and Zuck. This chart uses numbers that may not be accurate to everyone, but I'm assuming that for every one relative experience, it's one attempt. So this is based off of a noob taking about 100 attempts in order to get an Inferno Cape. I estimate that a noob who would take about 100 attempts in the Inferno Cape will take 42% less attempts if they choose to use Jessicar to get through the waves easier. This 42 attempt, 42% may equate to 42 attempts, but if you say you're going to take 50 attempts to get your Inferno cape it'll just be 21 but regardless it'll still take a certain percentage less attempts because it'll get you to jad easier therefore just a car is good for those who just want to get a cape because it'll decrease the amount of skill required and decrease the number of attempts this is mainly due to the time not spent having to instant solve waves and learn how to off tick prayer flick mani tick manipulate god stuff god reactions i didn't learn any of it to put an end to the cheesecake those who have gotten a cheesecake aka me noobscape we don't care about how we got our first cape we just wanted one and Justicar was a tool we used to work around our weakness and use our brains to turn odds into our favor. We cheesecapers can always return to the Inferno and learn how to get a traditional cape with prayer ticking and off manipulating and all that bull crap, but that's only if we want to. Now we shall tackle why Justicar cheesecapes do not just fall under three categories, because that shit's just ignorant. One, 
it took you much, much longer than the traditional cape. Shown on screen is an example of a learning curve. We cannot deny that more difficult things will take longer to learn, and the chart shows roughly where I feel you should learn certain mechanics of the Inferno proficiently. Again, this is based off an 100 Inferno cape attempts, but you could also equate these into percentages, saying at what percent of you are to getting to Zuck, you will learn these mechanics. At 32, you will learn to solve pillar stacks reliably. At 48, you'll understand your own errors. At 90, you'll be able to manually off-tick and instantly solve waves. At 95, you'll be able to beat Triple Jad, and at 100%, you'll be able to beat Zuck. Just a card does not require you to learn to instantly solve or manually off-tick or tick or flick multiple minions at once, so it saves the gap in between. I estimate that this skill gap takes about 42% of your attempts for the difference of when you could finally reach Triple Jad. For a less skilled player, using Jessicar as opposed to a less skilled player using a traditional method, this is where that 42% gap is found. You can argue that this gap may not be as large, but you still cannot deny that that skill gap is still there, which lowers the amount of attempts when using Jessicar. In my experience, when I was 20 attempts in, I still had not gotten the Jads, but on my 21st attempt, I decided to use Jessicar for the first time, and I made it the entire way to Triple Jad. Jessicar allowed me to skip many attempts of trying to learn the Inferno to a higher degree, and it decreased the amount of time it took me to get to Triple Jads for the first time. Two, you are insanely lucky with RNG. To start off, you cannot accurately predict a random outcome, but I can predict a likely outcome if it happens many times. For example, if you flip a coin and you will not be sure of the, what the result may be, but if you flip that same coin 100 times, I'm confident that the result that you would land it on heads about 50% of the time. Jessica's defense is so high that the likelihood that you are to get hit with 452 range defense versus 186 bonus, though I do not have the numbers, this difference is significant. Probably two to three times less likely when wearing Jessicars to get hit, as opposed to not wearing Jessicars. If you are to get hit while wearing Jessicars, you take 15% less damage as well. It's absorbed with the Jessicar bonus, and that is not luck based at all. You are not lucky with RNG if you're turning the odds significantly in your favor. It is expected that you take significantly less damage when putting Jessicar on. It would be considered insanely rare or lucky if you were to have the range minion hit you three times in a row using Jessicar. But without Jessicar, this is much more probable. That is not considered insane RNG. Number three is you could already understand the Inferno to the point where you are only slowing yourself down by using Jessicar. The Jessicars does not use any extra slots in the inventory. For the two pieces you add, you are taking out the Ancestral Bottom and you are also taking out an Amulet Switch. And one dose of brew is 64 HP. So if Jessicar can save you 128 HP, which is 4 to 5 ranger hits, then yes, it is worth taking the Jessicar for those 2 inventory slots of brew. In my experience, Jessicar sped me up. It did roughly 20 attempts, and the first time I attempted using Jessicar, I made it all the way to triple Jad. What Jessicar did was lower the skill level required to reach Jads because I was obviously not skilled yet enough. But Jessicar allowed me to compensate for my weakness and allowed me to make it through the waves. I was able to more reliably to get to triple Jad this way. Then I took a 4 month break because I got so demoralized and was playing other video games, so I had to relearn Inferno, which is why I estimate I took in total 60 to 80 attempts to get my Inferno cape. I have concrete recording of 37 of these deaths, but I do not have all my deaths recorded, unfortunately. In the last 10 attempts of the Inferno, I made it to Triple Jads almost every time using Justicar. Then I finally beat Triple Jad, and I made it to Zuck on all five of my next attempts. That is five consecutive attempts, not knowing how to off-tick, and flicking more prayer than once, I made five attempts in a row using Jessicar's all the way to Zuck. And I retried using my same strategy with, but without Jessicar, and I still have not made it to Zuck again in several attempts, which in my experience proves that Jessicar was not slowing me down. I do not understand the Inferno to that point of knowledge that I can make it without Jessicar yet, but I can consistently make it to Zuck, which proves that Jessicar actually increases the rate that you'll be able to get the cape. So now that we've proved that every Jessicar does not just fall under three categories, which is one, it took you much much longer than traditional cape, two, you were insanely lucky with RNG, or three, you already understood the Inferno to the point where you were only slowing yourself down by using Justicar. Let me suggest a fourth category for Justicar cape. Four, you acknowledge that Justicar plays around your weaknesses and decreases the skill cap requirement in order to attain a cape. Simple as that, Justicar will effectively lower how skilled you need to be to get a cape, which helps less skilled people get a cape much faster by reducing the amount of attempts that it takes them to require to learn the necessary abilities. So in conclusion, noobscape for the win, baby, let's get it.